Benito's flick finds Mikhail Yunus and some room. Tokley's header, uncertain. Um, young Andrew Driver has sealed it for Hearts. Ten minutes from time. Jamie Mull celebrates with them both scoring their first top team goals for Hearts. And despite all the millions spent, all the expensive foreign imports, it's two homegrown youngsters who've done the business for the home team. 3-1 now after that crashing finish from Driver. A really vital goal for Hearts. Spoke already about three points here. Putting more pressure on Aberdeen for that third spot. It hasn't looked likely today, but it just shows you. It's Driver! It's a fantastic free kick. Borat's beaten by Andrew Driver. Two quick goals for Hearts. And they are back in the race for UEFA Cup place. But Celtic's title-winning party is falling flat. Well, I think this young lad's been watching Nakamura. It's very similar. Very, very good free kick. It's up and it's over. It's difficult because it's quite close to goal to get it up and down. He has no problem with it. It's a great finish from Driver. And Boric didn't even move. Oh, McNeil! It's another error! And Andrew Driver makes it 2-0! Hearts are loving it! But it's another Edinburgh Derby clanger from a hinged goalkeeper! It just keeps on happening! We know players make mistakes. But you have to learn from your mistakes. OK, the surface, the conditions play their part, but it's got to be bread and butter. How many mistakes are Hibs goalkeepers going to make in derbies? But credit to Driver, it's, he finishes it well. But my, oh my, he's just made two very good saves. His confidence must have been high, but he's just absolutely gifted. Driver with a shot, and one, two! Hearts take the lead. 28 minutes into the second half. An excellent finish by Andrew Driver. The ball going over the head of Greg Fleming. And finishing up at the back of the net. And that's what the home crowd have been waiting for. There is Kisanevichis. Quela only as far as Andy Driver. What a good strike that is. Hearts lead. A magnificent goal. Driver does come in off the left hand side, but what a strike! In the way. That's swing of this time, Keith Nevich just trying to help it on. Andy Driver! Largely against the run of play, but it's Driver that puts Hearts in pole position. They lead by a goal to nil five minutes before the break. Well, that's what football's about. Putting the ball in the back of the net, it doesn't matter how much possession you don't have. If you've got players like that in your side who can pop up, we saw him do it against Rangers. He just keeps it low, he hits it hard. Nobody from St Mirren deals with the initial ball. Michael Stewart, Belichka, Driver making moves. Foster saw that coming though. It's still, it's going to break, is it for Driver? No, but Nardi is challenged by Hart. Driver who's managed to sneak it in and Hearts have the lead inside three minutes. Well, Hearts have certainly taken it to Aberdeen, but what a catalogue of errors in defence for the Dons. The good ball through from Belichka and Driver trying to get on the end of it. At this point, Foster slips, he then plays a bad pass across the face of his goal and then Driver sneaks in at the back post he should never be allowed to get on the end of that one as you see here the slip from Foster where is he playing that wall? Driver, that's a good finish good movement from Velichka lofted in for Driver what a goal right out of the top drawer from Hearts it was speculative from Velichka 
And when he lofted it in, what a drilled finish from Driver. Driver to seal the points, helping the team put their midweek defeat to Airdrie in the Cooperative Insurance Cup behind them. This is Driver. Driver did well, he scored! Very good direct, positive play by Andrew Driver. Simon Mensing almost received a penalty. Driver did his credit, stayed at his feet. Stepped past him and drilled that beyond Cherney. And that should be good enough to keep Hearts in front. That's poor play from Falkirk. Riera's lost though, no chance on for Hearts. Andy Driver's through on the goalkeeper. This should be a wonderful goal for Hearts. And it is, Hearts take the lead through Andrew Driver. A wonderful solo effort from the Hearts man. It was Riera who gave the ball away in the middle of the park. And Driver still had a lot to do. He still had men to beat. But he had the composure. Agua. Try working into a shooting position. Many more defenders back than players to assist him as Kingston tries his luck. And Driver onside, scores! Andy Driver gives Hearts the lead at Celtic Park. Great play by Larry Kingston. Andy Driver, who's already scored the winner against both Hamilton and Falkirk this season, has a goal that could have such a big bearing on the title race. Kingston playing at 40 was very close to being offside. He committed Borat to... Much better moments, these for Hearts after a low-key first half. Obrua's cross, and Andy Driver scores. Aberdeen went to sleep, and the uh, switch off was costly. Andy Driver switched on and powered in that back post header. 65 minutes, and Hearts have turned this around. Right across the face of goal and into the back of the net. Andy Driver gives Hearts the lead. Again, it wasn't easy, but by now the supporters realised more than anything else that they could rely on their heroes. And in stoppage time, it was Spanish sensation Ruben Palazuelos. Kingston to Jason Thompson. Up ahead of him, Suzo, the sub. He's away from Lewis Stevenson. Decent ball in, back off the post. Andy Driver fires out in front. It was a gamble by Jim Jeffries to include him in the first place. After a long injury absence, that gamble has just paid off. And that's a bad mistake by Graham Stark. Thought it was heading into the side net. Back off the upright. And crossed in by Not Driver. to blame for Hearts third, Andrew Driver with a cracker. Griffiths has made a back from there. Sutton is trying to knock it back to McGowan. And pressure here from Driver. Oh, he's got it, Scott! Andrew Driver almost cannot believe his luck. Alan Mabry, the former Hearts player with a mistake in his first appearance for Hibernian. And it's all gone maroon at Easter Road. Well, call for Quincy. There's an autopsy between fullback and goalkeeper. One is blaming the other. Driver is blaming nobody. He's only interested in taking advantage of mishaps, of mistakes, of uncertainty. And that's certainly what this is. There's no danger whatsoever here. Go on, head it back and head it back with a bit of pace. If you don't, hook it into the stand. Quite a simple decision. We've all been there. Sometimes your head is a little bit scrambled. But for one with so much experience, I would have expected it. Look at him with a long throw. Sutton wins the head. A little drop for Driver. Archery take the lead with seven minutes to go to half time. And scoring for the first time since August is Andy Driver. The flick came in from Sutton and Driver unmarked to the back post at the simplest of tasks.